So Gurpreet, you are the queen of the hidden job market. So tell us more about and how can job seekers yeah. tap to that market? Because we know that sometimes, as you we talked about in the previous videos, the first video that everyone can go and check them out, that posting online, sometimes the job is just for formalities because they already yeah. find the people they want to hire. Yeah. And all these people are spending you know, spending so many hours to apply, but they will not mm -hmm. get it. So how they can go to that hidden job market, which I believe it's related to the networking part, right? Uh, no. <laughs> no? Okay, I elaborate. Know. I say no. Honestly, I, oh, I, networking is not a tool that I recommend people using when they're looking for a job. Mm -hmm. Why? Because networking is something you should be doing consistently. Yeah. Right. So it should be a part of your lifestyle as a career professional, but it shouldn't be done when you're looking for a job, because what ends up happening is now you made it. Now you're going to make it into transactional yeah. and not intentional or organic. Right. Yeah. It's easier to network when you're not seeking something. It's just honest truth. Right. Yeah. When you're not seeking. Look how me and you met. Yeah. We're not seeking anything from each other, but organically. Yeah. Um, LinkedIn engaging with each other's content we started talking uh one and then you invited me to come be a guest speaker in one of your webinars i invited you to come speak at my linkedin yes and now i'm here yeah. speaking here right so look at the organicness of this but we're not we are not looking like you're not seeking me because you need something from me right All it's right. just future organic friendship that built over time yes so for me, when people say, oh, you know, the only way to land a job is networking, so let's go network. <clears throat> but I, I think people, I'm like, no, because networking takes time. Building yeah. those relationships take time. They're not okay. going to happen overnight. Like, yeah. unless you've got six, seven months or a year to go, I'm not a problem. But if you need, like right now, people are out of jobs. They are laid off. They are yeah. not working. I need to land a job. And a job like this, and you're not gonna do it through networking. Yeah. I I teach different strategies when it comes to hidden job market. My best tool for hidden job market that I tell everybody is LinkedIn, right? Mm -hmm. Um, you can get everyone, you can get all the recruiters to chase you, you can comment and create visibility, yeah. increase your visibility and awareness about you. You can attend audio events. Yes. On LinkedIn, but the key is to be engaged, yeah. right? Unmute, speak. I've met so many great people through LinkedIn audio events, mm -hmm. um, form friendships, collaborations came out of it. Such so much amazing stuff came yes. from it. Just simply going to someone's event and then un and raising my hand, participating, yeah. adding to the conversation, uh, and sharing my thoughts or and questions if I had. But normally it's always like adding to what they're already talking about. Yeah. And those are organically built. So uh, events, audio events, clubhouse, uh, Slack channels are, are also un like one of the best untapped way to to get jobs. Also, um, Facebook groups. LinkedIn groups. LinkedIn groups. I feel like LinkedIn groups are less active like compared yeah. to Facebook groups. Yeah. Uh, Facebook groups, I've landed a lot of great opportunities through Facebook group. So there's so many ways to lie, uh, uh, to tap into the hidden job market. But I would say the number one best tool is by far, uh, I would say LinkedIn just because it gives you multiple things. Recruiters are using it to go find the candidates they're looking for so you can convert that into seo so that you appear higher in the searches right yes. though and all the professionals hiring managers everybody sitting here yeah. right so it's like a one complete platform that gives you everything. everything now if you really want to up your level game i teach three different strategies there are a lot of work i'm just gonna be honest yes uh but they will work like magic number one thing is i teach a uh, coffee shop strategy which is called basically, you know, if there's a dream company, absolute, like your one company that is like, oh my God, I would love to work for them. You know, go to their head office and look at the um, coffee shop right next to it. And I guarantee if you go there every day, the same yeah. time, you meet the same people, run into the same people, naturally conversations organically start happening. 
Uh, or a next level would be to actually go into the office. So uh, Wendy Williams did this um, many, many years ago and like a little bit of a beginning her career. There's a documentary if people can watch it. She talk, talks about that, how mm -hmm. she's that uh, every day went to this radio station that she absolutely wanted to work at. Though she's already working for one, this was like her dream radio yes. station. She said she went there every day, sat in the reception lobby area, main lobby area, every day waiting to speak to the head of the station. Two weeks went by, every day didn't miss a beat. What ended up happening was the radio host uh, for the segment called in sick. For whatever reason, she couldn't get on the air, but she basically, the, the station found out like maybe five minutes before the show started. Yeah. So there was no opportunity. They couldn't go call an agency. Hey, send us temp yeah. filler. Who was sure, the yeah. temp filler? Wendy Williams. The, the station head went to the lobby. I know who you are. You've been coming here two weeks. Here's your chance. Boom. You need to fill this slot. Yeah. What ended up happening? She got a, a gig out of it. Temp not just temporary. She did so well that they made her come in regularly, then landed her own gig, and then boom, her career flew yeah. up. But these are the things you have to be time. wanting to time. do, right? Yeah. Uh, in, especially in today's market, it's super competitive. Uh, these are much more better strategies than click and then pray. Right, yeah. Costly, you get a call. Because, yeah, like something yeah. will stick. Also, when you, also you can leverage your events. Mm. Honestly, don't go to networking events. Those are the worst places to meet people. The best are industry related events. Go to those events. Go in person. I like to go to smaller events because they're intimate and you're guaranteed to bond at least with five people. Mm -hmm. Then to go on a larger conference, bond with people, form friendship. And even when somebody wants you, they would even be willing to create a role for you mm -hmm. and bring yeah. you on. Yeah. And that that could take a little bit longer process but i mean but that's the beauty of the power of human beings is if they want you they'll make anything yeah, happen just like dating yeah. like think about when you had a crush on somebody look how much effort you made to get noticed yeah. get in front of that person to want them for them to want you equally back yeah. sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't yeah. but you don't just give up and say oh okay i'm not gonna do yeah. anything right that's what i say to the students or the clients i'm helping like for the students i tell them by the time you graduate, your main purpose is to network, put those seeds, find people there, build relationship. It's a two-way communication. It cannot be just one way. Don't reach to last minute and panicking. Find me a job. I need a job. It takes time. And it's yeah. like, like a plant, right? It's a two-way communication. You need to water the plant, sink to the plant, maybe. Uh, maybe plant change the, the seed, area. So, water it. Yeah, water it, all that. So it takes time. Again, you said it, it's always good in that sense. And, and as a lifestyle, right? Yeah. Making it your career lifestyle. Everything I said can be turned into a lifestyle for your career. Yeah. So it's organic. And it's not you reacting because you are out of a job. And those are great tips. And with that, my interview comes to an end. Thank you, Gurpreet, for those great tips. And again, for the audience, if you have more tips, leave them below. Watch the, all the videos that have been posted all the week and comment, share. And if you have any more questions, you can reach us. So bye, everyone. And Gurpreet, let's keep in touch. Yes, sounds good. Thank you.